Hey YouTube, this is the Trendy Socialite. I hope all is well with you. If you look at the bottom of your screen, you will see a definition for the word chaos. And this is what my life was like at one point in my, in my time. <coughs> uh, actually, it's happened at several points at different times in my life where I just felt like my life was chaotic. It didn't have any focus or any direction. I was doing a lot of stuff. I was um, focused on my career. And, you know, if I can be totally transparent, I think I'm feeling that to a degree right now. So, um, this video is going to help me as much as I hope it helps you. Um, like I said, I was doing good things. I was going to, I was working on my career, um, involved, heavily involved in church, heavily involved in my sorority, um, in other community activities, um, but I really felt like I lacked focus. Um, my follow through with um, me keeping my word with, you know, doing things for people was getting bad and not to mention, you know, the personal goals that I had set for myself just were not getting accomplished at all. So, you know, I was operating and right now I am operating on little sleep, uh, you know, fueling my, what I think is creativity with Starbucks and, and just pretty much not treating my body and, and my mind and my soul the way that um, I should treat it. Uh, so, theologian John Dunn says that, says that no man is an island. And I remember at one particular point in time where I was really, really burned out. I um, just, uh, I was just spiraling. Like, I literally was, was getting very, very little sleep and was just super tired all of the time. Um, and I just wasn't focused. So I, I prayed and I asked God, I was like, okay, you really have to help me figure out what's going on and what I can do to make it to make it better and to get focused. And you know, he was very, very clear to me um, that I had pretty much secluded myself on an island. <laughs> and it was like fantasy island. You know, I think I'm good, right? You know, I'm helping others, I'm you know, I'm busy doing this and I'm busy doing that. But I wasn't getting anything done. I mean, you talk about spinning your wheels. That's what I was doing. Um, and so part of God's solution for me was that I needed to create a godly support system. I was being the support system for many others, but I hadn't created that support system for myself. And thus I was drowning. I was overwhelmed. Um, I was under motivated and all sorts of things. So when I sort of came to that conclusion, I realized that you know I needed to reconnect with God. Um, I needed to focus on my physical health. I needed to focus on my emotional health. And I needed to um, find someone to help me motivate, help motivate myself to, to um, go after some of the personal goals that I had. And I needed to reconnect with my friends and my family. So, um, you know, several different types of people came to mind when I decided I needed to create this godly support system. One was an accountability partner, spiritual accountability partner. Two was a counselor. Three was a um, personal trainer. Four was a life coach or motivational coach and five was my friends and family. So luckily <laughs> I with the exception of maybe one or one of those things, I actually have all of those in my immediate sphere of influence. Um, with the personal trainer, my cousin is a personal trainer, so you know I'm constantly picking his brain, you know, what's the latest, what's you know, what's good, what should I do, how can I um, jazz up my workout and I also have a really good friend that was a personal trainer as well um, so you know I was constantly asking them for that I don't, you can't tell but uh, I haven't been to the gym in <laughs> a while but I know what to do when I go back anyway um, so maybe you have even if they're not a certified personal trainer 
chances are you know somebody that's just a fitness nut, fitness buff, whatever you want to call them, and you can get them to give you some tips and pointers on that. Um, I also, let's see, with my friends and my family, that was more a matter of choice just in terms of me committing to spending more time with my family, spending more time with my friends, reaching out to them and, you know, sending them, you know, at least a weekly, hey, how you doing, email or a text. Um, you know, as I'm traveling from different places, if I'm in the car alone, especially giving my friends a call and saying, hey, what's going on? Just call and check on you to see how you were doing um, and that sort of thing. And that lets them know that I'm not just there when, you know, I want to want something from them or something to that effect, that I'm there for them. Um, and so that was um, that was really really a matter of choice. We can get so bogged down in day to day stuff that we just don't connect with the people that are closest to us because we sort of think that they're always going to be there. And the one lesson that I've learned this year, especially that I've really been convicted about about, is that they may not always be there, and to appreciate them while they are here. You know, the old folks used to say, "Give me my flowers while I yet live," and that was a song back in the day. <laughs> So I, I'm trying to, and I don't succeed all the time, but I'm trying to do that on a consistent basis. Um, the other thing that I highly recommend is counseling. Uh, a lot of times, especially we as black women, we have been through some stuff. Some stuff that we have healed from, some stuff that we haven't healed from. And having someone to talk to about that and to sort of help us process those feelings and come to some sort of co conclusion about it is really, really helpful. Um, I've been in counseling twice. The first time I was only in counseling for maybe three months. The second time I was in counseling for like two years. And oh my God, if I hadn't been in counseling, I don't know how I would have made it through um, some particularly trying points in my life um, about some things. So, uh, you know, now for those two years, was I always going through and involved in some drama? No, but it was helpful, you know, there were weeks that I would go in and something would have just happened at work. And, you know, I'm spazzing out, freaking out. And so I talk about it. And, you know, my counselor was just so great about just putting it all in perspective and just kind of saying like in the grand scheme of things like really how important is this and so I always had it those I was able to vent and at the same time I was able to to come to some sort of conclusion about the matter even if it wasn't a solution I was able to come to a conclusion about it even if it was that I can't do anything about it so I highly recommend counseling um, it still has a little bit of stigma but I don't think it has as much of a stigma as it used to um, and also if you are employed and you do have health insurance look into that because um, my counseling was covered under my health insurance so all I had to pay was my copay you just want to be careful that it's usually a certain number of sessions and if you go every week you may run out before the end of your health coverage for that year so just you know be careful mindful of that but um, other than that it was, I mean, counseling was one of the best things I could have ever done for my emotional health. Um, in terms of life coaches, I've had two awesome life coaches that I still hear from today. You know, every once in a while, they'll, like, one calls me pretty much quarterly just to see where I am, what I'm doing. And I just, I mean, I couldn't have asked for two better counselors. I've been blessed. The second one was a Christian, and he was just awesome. Um, I will put his information below. His name is Simon Bailey. If you ever have a chance to hear him speak or read his books or, you know, follow him on Twitter or whatever, he is just a phenomenal person. So uh, he, a lot of who I am and the way I think and the way I operate is due to him because he was my life coach for maybe about a year. Um, I didn't do everything that I was supposed to do that he directed me to do um, and I could kick myself because I could be so much further along in my journey but it's never too late and that's one important thing about this support system um, is that if you surround yourself I'm getting ready to sneeze, <laughs> with the right people 
they will be with you for the long haul and they won't walk away with you when you trip and fall or when you forget or you become unmotivated. So, like I said, once I got these people sort of into place, did I forget anybody? Oh, my accountability partner is like my best friend. And that's the person that I, I talk to you about, you know, where I am spiritually, what I'm struggling with. Um, and, you know, the blessed thing about that is she doesn't judge me. She gives me the word of God, but she doesn't judge me. She, she loves me. She tells me um, not necessarily what I want to hear, but what I need to hear in order for me to have the um, God kind of life that I know that he wants me to have. And I couldn't ask for better, you know, better friends in that regard. Speaking of friends, I don't know that I've ever talked about really uh, my group of friends that I call the Council of Godly Women. Short, the Council. Um, it's, it's mostly my family, but it's also part girlfriends. And um, we have been through so much together. I mean, just like, oh my God, so much together. Um, weddings, literally weddings and funerals. We're about to go through the birth of a baby. Relationships, breakups, um, job changes, layoff. I mean, we've just been through so much together. Uh, and, you know, sometimes when we get together, it's almost like we kind of go around in a circle <laughs> And each person tells, you know, what's going on with them, where they are. We talk about work, we talk about family, we talk about relationships and friends. And we give each other the benefit of, you know, sound counsel, godly counsel, just love and support. And I can't tell you the number of times where I have gone to, to be with my friends like that. And I have felt, you know, heavy laden. I've been upset. I've been stressed. I've been tense. And I, I leave there and I'm like so free, I'm so focused and just feeling like, you know, I can, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me because, you know, he has ministered to me through my friends. And that's one other good thing about this support system. Um, I totally understand that, you know, God is a healer, God is our source. He's the one that we should look to for a lot of these things. But at the same time, he can use other people to minister to our needs. So I really want to encourage you to uh, consider creating your own godly support system. This, these may not be the type of people that you need. You may want a financial counselor or you may want um, you know, a, another type of mentor. But just consider some of the people in, that you could bring into your life, whether that's formally um, meaning that you pay them maybe because I, I pay my life coaches or informally with, through friends and family and people that you have a relationship with and just consider doing that and I promise you I promise you you won't regret it you'll you'll feel more focused you'll be able to just um, accomplish the things that you want and God wants you to accomplish. No man is an island and I don't want you to live like that and God doesn't want you to live like that. So create a godly support system and I promise you, you won't regret it and you will see the manifestation of it in your life. Please leave your comments below, rate and subscribe. I am almost to 900 subscribers. Thank you everybody who has subscribed over the last time I talked about my subscribers I was at 500 and that was in June so in two months I've gotten like almost 400 subscribers. So I'm excited about that um, and I will be doing a push for my next 100 subscribers so I can get to 1000 and that will be full of contests and prizes and all kinds of good yummy stuff. Uh, so. Please rate and subscribe and take care and have a great day. Bye.